It's time for the briefing. Although, since we don't have any contact with HQ, it's not like this is an official mission. Anyway, it looks like the seizure of Tyler Island and the relief from Osea have been postponed. In the meantime, we just have to do what we can to survive. Since losing its capital city of Ferbanti, Eurusian forces have separated into smaller, autonomous factions. It looks like Eurusia's largest force and leading faction will pass through the area around this base. The space elevator is significant to them, so they're probably heading there. Should we intercept? Why? I doubt they're gonna start a fight now. Our top priority should be to get home. Let's go already. Yeah. It's not like we have the supplies, power, or even a real reason to put up a fight. But, what are we going to do if they bring the fight to us? We need to be ready to push them back. If we head inland from here towards Arusia, there's an old castle that's been converted into a stockpiling base. Shalaji Castle. It's currently occupied by some of the Arusian forces that broke off, but we need ammo and fuel. They appear to have converted a freeway into a runway, so we can expect them to have the capacity for air combat. But they'll be easier to handle than Arusia's lead faction. But we can't use all our aircraft to attack. The transport carrying the stolen supplies needs support. Okay, Strider Squadron. You head out first, and neuter the dogs at the stockpiling base. Rendezvous with Cyclops Squadron, who will bring the transport. Then we bring the supplies back to this base. Got it. Aircraft are our only threat. Sounds good. We'll make it. We're all gonna fly home. Together. Hey guys, Dark Hope here. Welcome back to Ace Combat 7. For this mission, I'll be using the SU-57 with the plasma gun turret. Pretty much the same setup as last time, however I got rid of one of the upgrades for the plasma gun and replaced it for the missile power one. I just needed a little bit more oomph for my missiles just to make sure my missiles can actually kill the Soul Scorching fighters easier as well as more efficiently. Explored in the ace for this mission, complete the opening section in two and a half minutes and then you can actually start engaging the ace as well as all the AA guns. This mission is really easy as long as you take the AA guns out quickly just to make sure you don't have any damage to your craft. This is just a very quick and easy fight for it as well as a good pretty high run that I managed to do so I'll make sure to include that in a separate video. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy.
vehicle.
craft is going down. He got him. Trigger is splashed abandoned. Supply went well. We should be okay on food and fuel reserves for a little while at least. Luckily, the rumor that the Erujian army is advancing nearby is only a rumor. There's no sign of them from the skies. Rumors, rumors, rumors. This is what happens when you lose communications. But we got one good fact. The plane trigger shot down was an advanced model of the XO2 Wyvern. It was developed in the last Continental War. Erugia had a lot up their sleeves. Apparently, they were even supposed to have Belkin aircraft back in the first war. What if Trigger couldn't shoot it down? Just thinking about it gives me chills. We're lucky to be here. In war, you never know what's lurking behind the curtains. But it looks like everything's loose now. Solid chain of command, rest periods after sorties, a battlefield where you know friend from foe. All of that's gone now. Lost in the fog of confusion, feels like a distant dream. Now, just how the hell are we gonna get out of this mess? And that's pretty much mission 18, Lost Kingdom. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Stay tuned for more Ace Combat as well as Dying Light content. This has been your boy Dark Hope, signing off.